Hi everyone, Sean Humphreys here. Welcome to this edition of the Take Charge of Change podcast. This podcast is a continuation of a series of podcasts that we're producing from the great book Resilience by author Eric Reitens. In this podcast, we'll talk about an old-fashioned word, vocation. Welcome to the Take Charge of Change podcast. In this podcast, we'll help you to lead a more resilient professional and personal life by sharing great content to make you smarter, more energetic, emotionally healthy, financially confident, so you accomplish your professional and personal goals in spite of the challenges that are sure to come your way. Often the word vocation will conjure up other words like profession or work. However, vocation implies much more than working for a living, much more. So when we talk about this word, it implies a calling, work and its application really does shape us. It impacts our mind, our body, and our spirit. The pursuit of work and the success and failure that it leads to has the potential to create powerful purpose and meaning in our lives. And passionate purpose can be created through consistent and excellent work that they're engaged in. Passionate purpose can be created through consistent and excellent work. Vocation or your calling is forged through effort, challenge, hard work, and the experiences that prepare us to be ready for our calling. In the book Resilience, Eric Greitens references Peter Combs, who said, vocation is where your great joy meets the world's great need. There's nothing selfish about investing ourselves in developing and pursuing our vocations and serving out of these passions. It leads to sustained energy and power to make a difference when we work on our vocation. Vocation is about moving from working purely for extrinsic rewards like money and applause, to working for intrinsic or internal rewards, making a difference, a job well done, impacting the world for good, changing people's lives. Vocation is a calling that can lead to great and great fulfillment. Now on the flip side, it can lead to times of hardship and pain and frustration. When you pursue your passion or calling, not everyone will be excited about this approach. In fact, you may be met with a little bit of pushback. The people around you may not feel comfortable with your newfound enthusiasm. They may even be a little bit threatened by it. But we have to do it. It's something that's driven from the inside because we're called to it. And most people are moving from one form of entertainment to another. They have no real sense of meaning, no real purpose. Their lives are made up of zero reflection and as a result, they never get clear on purpose. They're takers, often not givers. And they believe that success isn't an entitlement or birthright. That it's not enough just to show up. As you work in your vocation, you are on a different path. When you have a purpose, you forge through distractions and roadblocks as you make a positive difference in the world. Eric Greitens hit it spot on when he said, For many of us, it's not that we have too many distractions, it's that we have too few devotions. Too many people live lives driven by brand names, income, job title, or the home they live in. There's a saying that a weapon doesn't make the soldier. It's a cause worth dying for that makes a soldier. It's about serving something greater than yourself. Self-discovery and self-exploration should be about how we can develop ourselves to serve others more effectively. In life, it's about the hardship that's thrown or strewn behind us that creates hard-won hope for a better and more productive future ahead of us. To begin the path of discovering or rediscovering your vocation and purpose, here are a few strategies to consider. First, start spending time reflecting. Get away from your technology and the hustle and bustle of your life and spend some time in a park just daydreaming, reflecting, go for a walk. What gives you meaning, right? How can you link this meaning to your current work that you're engaged in? Second, strive to truly understand your unique ability. Your unique ability flows out of a constellation of experiences and training, relationships, natural talents, and passions. Are there certain things that you are routinely complimented on by others? This might be a clue to your unique ability. Our free ebook, The Resilient Professional, unpacks this topic in greater detail. As well, be sure to visit the Strategic Coach website for more information on this topic. Links can be found in the show notes. Third, book some time to get clear on your life purpose, your mission, and vision for the future. Look at each area of life, health, finances, career, relationships, community involvement. This exercise will be of great assistance as you strive to bring into alignment your life purpose with your current and future work and professional roles. 
If you need some help getting started in this exercise, download the Resilient Professional eBook from our website. Again, it's a free resource and it contains information dedicated to the cultivation of purpose and vision. Once you've completed these exercises, you'll be then in a position to link your work to your purpose and to create a vocation. Well, that concludes this edition of the Take Charge of Change podcast. It's my hope that you found these reflections helpful. Change and challenges are inevitable. And if you want to start down the path of building personal and professional resilience, be sure to download our free ebook, The Resilient Professional. Click the link on the video and you'll be taken to the Resilient Professional information page. As well, be sure to visit our website at takechargeofchange.com for more helpful resources And if you manage teams, consider us delivering customized training to your staff to improve productivity and emotional, physical, cognitive, and financial resilience. For contact information, visit our website, again, at takechargeofchange.com. All the best in your quest to enhance resilience.